All right, advice for young artists. Uh, my biggest piece of advice is always just to draw a lot, you know, and do it fast. Be fast. Fast can become good. Good doesn't get fast. So um, I always recommend everybody just to get the let out and just scrap stuff and just keep keep rolling, you know, and don't don't give up. Uh, it's the people who don't quit that do well. So don't quit. You'll be fine. Hey, what's up, guys? Are you aspiring artist? Well, I was once an aspiring artist, and now I'm in the industry. And uh, Howard has asked me uh, to give you some advice. So basically, you want to make sure that um, you handle it like a hospitality business. You give somebody uh, good service. They will tell about an average of what, about 10 to 15 people. So you keep up that kind of uh, mentality, whether it's online, whether it's through your artwork, but just treat people in a way where they will remember you whether you want to do it in a negative way or a positive way. I would recommend the positive way. You know what, I, uh, hustle, hustle more. There's, there's, there's many skills that you need. Uh, no, there's hard skills and soft skills. Learn both of them. Uh, hard skills is your portfolio. Soft skills is networking. Go to ComCon, meet people like yourself here. Ask for advice. Don't ask for a job. There's, there's many things I, I, would, I would be different. I would actually be more proactive. How you doing? My name is Axel. Uh, uh, my thing about, for advice. Um, one of the things I like to talk about when I had my, you know, I used to teach the students was, Focus, you know, building a portfolio, you know, just focus on what job you want to do. I mean, if it's animation, cancel, cancel bar, whatever, but even within that, example, animation, focus on, if you want to do character design, focus on making characters. If you want to do storyboards, really focus on doing storyboards. Show that you're really serious about, you know, that you're really into that craft. And then um, background design, that's another thing too. Show uh, backgrounds of different environments. Also show different styles. Show that you can handle different house looks. You know, that makes you more employable. And of course, and I'm always a big fan of, please work on your own stuff. I mean, I think it's always take time. Yes, you're working for other people. You're trying to you know, make uh, income, build that resume, you know, it's great. But try to do some stuff for yourself. You know, whatever that is. You know, the arts, yes, draw your own characters. But it could be anything, really. It could be music. It, it could be shooting your own video. Videos, photography. I mean, it could be also other things that could that inspire your creativity. So I, for me, that's a big thing. Always be creative, honestly. Whatever you do, but focus on really what you want to do when you build that portfolio, honestly. All right. Peace. All right. So, my advice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Who are you? <laughs> What's your name? Okay. Validate yourself. Okay. I'm Randy Green. I've been working in comics uh, about 25 years. Uh, Started at Dark Horse, then left to the Top Cow, uh, Aspen, DC, Marvel. And so, when I was, my advice to uh, young up and comers or people looking to break into the industry would be uh, you really need to be confident in your work. So, if you're, uh, if you got samples, you need to bring your samples and show people. And I know it's kind of, um, a lot of times it shows people will come up and, and they'll, they'll talk to me about what do I need to do, what do I need to do, and I go, well, kind of see your artwork and they're like yeah well I, I kind of didn't bring it I'm like dude I can't help you if you didn't bring your art so uh, treat it like you're uh, trying to get some instruction have a real thick skin about it and uh, you know look for that critique you know you, you kind of want to, people to tear you down a little bit so you can see where your errors and your flaws are and then um, and then I'll help you get better and then just keep working on it from there but be confident enough to take your stuff and show it off and uh, don't be shy about showing your work. Please. That's good advice, Randy. I got nothing else. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> well, I'm uh, Kelly Yates. I'm best known probably for my work on Doctor Who books over the years. I've uh, designed toys, illustrated covers, and also uh, do the creator and book Amber Adams uh, that was originally put out through Image Comics back in 2008, and I recently just did a Kickstarter that was successfully funded uh, collecting a trade paperback. So to kind of mem uh, to add on to what Randy has said here, uh, for me, the advice I always give is draw, draw, and draw. That's it, no matter if it's digital, traditional, whatever, just drawing is the most important thing you can do. How it's done, how it's delivered, is maybe not the most important thing, but just having that skill. And that, that can go for anything too, it can be writing. If you, you, know, if you want to be a writer, write, write, write. If you want to be a cook, 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 and cook. It's just that repetition 
and having the confidence to show your work, I think it's just a combination of those things that really will help excel you. Sounds good, Kelly. Thanks, I Randy. I think we got it all covered. Okay. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you want to support my channel, you can buy one of my graphic novels from the link below, or you can buy one of my t-shirts. And also remember to click on like and subscribe.